How did I do that? There was absolutely no way it was going to happen. It was time to lock down, mask up, stay home, stay safe. Most countries were closed. There was no travel. How could I possibly move to my dream life in the tropics? Stay tuned. You're going to find out right now. Let's get started. Ready? Hello, this is Robert Mead, your Imagination Coach, and we're going to go deep now because in my last video, I talked about the two steps toward manifestation. Do you recall? The first one being to write out your story. What do you want it to be, look like? What do, you, what do you want to see happen in your life? What goal do you want to accomplish? What do you want to be, have, or do? It could be related to in a personal nature. It could be related to your family. It could be concerning a goal. It may be a desire to have a better partner in life or to resolve a situation in your life with your current partner. It could be a jillion different things related to health and much, much more. Very, very personal, and it's up to you to decide what you want to have, do, and be in your life. Now, because this is so important, I'm actually going to be uh, referring to and reading some of the notes involved that I've made for this video because I want to specifically show you how I did it. Okay, let's continue. Now, many of you realize now that I'm, a, I'm an imagination coach. I work with people in 45 countries around the world and I help them achieve their goals. How do I do that? I do that by helping them develop and use and enter into their imaginations of having their goal already. Seeing it done, seeing it as theirs. There's a process to it. Now, I, I've given you the basics for that. Remember in our last video? Step one, write out your story. Know what you want, write it out. And throw in maybe if you need to explain why you feel or have perceived you haven't been able to accomplish it. So what's held you back? What do you feel has prevented you from having that goal now? Okay? Is it money? Is it education? Is it her? Is it him? Is it them? What are you saying to yourself or experiencing that has held you back? Now, you just take a little gander at that. You don't dwell on that, but it's good to be aware of your perceived challenges. Okay? So you have your story, your perceived challenges, and now. Set that aside. Come back now, pen and paper, write out in a, in a, a special set-aside notebook for this, okay? Write out your goal is already accomplished. What would it look like? What would it feel like if it were already yours? Now, that was step two in that video that I did just a few days ago. Now, the next step is designing a scene or a single act or sensation that implies that it's already yours. Let's detail that. Ready? Now, most of you are aware that uh, my primary teacher in, in what I uh, believe and use in my life and teach to clients worldwide is the Law of Assumption from Neville Goddard. A lot of what I use too is based on Joe Dispenza, Bob Proctor, and many, many other amazing teachers of the law. Neville Goddard said the following. Now this is based on one of his marvelous lectures, which is also free and can be found and listened to online, A Prophecy from 1968. Okay? He said, when you can persuade yourself 100% that you are a success, success is yours. You must become it. You must be so intense that you completely forget it was only a desire. You must tame the wild new state that you have entered until it feels natural and causes you to forget any and all else that was holding you back. Commitment is absolutely a must and you must fully occupy it as yours right now. Not someday, not somehow, not just a hope or a wish, but yours now. Completely occupy it as done. Now Neville adds, knowing you are, you say to yourself, right, I am. I am now. 
So you are now in this role of a man or woman who wants to be a success in business. You can you sit down and actually write out the pattern or scene or a specific sensation or act or experience that would imply that it's already yours, that you have that success in that particular desired outcome. Then, if you enter into that scene and believe it as true, the pattern of success will unfold. The means, the ways, the how-to, the getting over of the challenges, that will automatically, you will find the way it will happen for you and with you if you have that state of mind of accomplishment first. But you must persist in the imagined scene of success. You will then awaken and express the success that you believe yourself to be. Now I want you to fully understand this, right? That you need to practice your desire affecting both your subconscious and therefore your outward visible results in your world. Now you're aided in doing this by doing what Neville Goddard referred to as a state akin to sleep. Joe Dispenza refers to it as the alpha theta state, right? And I've used his meditations also. It's going into that meditative, sleepy, drowsy state or state akin or similar to sleep, but not quite sleep. Now, if you study those levels of consciousness, of awareness, you'll notice that we drop from beta, which we are normally in, into an alpha or relaxed state. Now, this is probably a state that you get into maybe after work, you're sitting back in your comfortable chair, your easy chair, and you begin to get a little sleepy, a little drowsy, and your body and everything slows down. You get quieter. You become still. It's an opportunity for relaxation and meditation. That's the state of mind that you want to bring yourself into. Okay? And again, Neville refers to it as a state akin to sleep. So now you can do this in various positions. It could be sitting on a couch or on a chair. It could be laying down on your back. It could be on bed before sleeping. Right? Make sure you don't have any media devices at all. You have to have a completely quiet, even close your eyes and begin to breathe and relax and drop into that meditative state. Now it's in that meditative state that you want to run that scene of implication that is your desire is fulfilled. Well, let me get more into that because I promised you I would go more into how to use our senses vividly. So for example, if you are walking in your scene, right? You don't see yourself walking, you feel yourself walking. If in your visualized scene that implies success, you're climbing stairs, you're not seeing yourself climbing the stairs, you are climbing the stairs, you're experiencing it. I used this when I worked for Hilton and I was in sales. We had a literal stairs that we would climb up to the sales floor where we would meet our client, greet them, and then go forward with the sales process. I already in, had already imagined myself in that scene, them buying the product and saying yes. But part of that was me physically feeling myself coming up to the top of the stairs, reaching out my hand and greeting that client and them immediately getting into rapport and liking me, sitting down with me and going through the sales process, okay? A lot of salespeople use that process all the time. So again, uh, if you are, for example, you want to manifest a new car, you want to get a new car, you don't imagine yourself or visualize yourself sitting in that car. What? Aren't you supposed to? No. You are sitting in that car. So if you were actually experiencing that new car as already yours, right, what would you see? You would see the tops of your hands on the wheel, a 
okay? You might see your hand on the dial of that awesome new stereo system. You would feel and smell the new leather of the seat and the interior, that new car smell, right? You would hear and feel the rumble of the engine, that vibration and sound. If it's, you know, a gas-powered car, you'd, boom, you'd feel the power of the motor, okay? Like I did with my Z06 Corvette, right? And my Mazda, uh, Mazda Speed, Speed 8, right? My Mazda RX-8, oh God, those were awesome experiences. So you're actually in the car, enjoying it. Now you haven't even gone down to the dealership yet. You don't, you're not even sure how you're gonna finance it. You, don't, you haven't even experienced that car yet for real. You haven't even taken a test drive perhaps. But you're imagining yourself in that car. By the way, the test drive would be a good thing because then you can take that feeling home with you and more easily imagine it, okay? Other ways you can get into the feeling of imagining it real. When I was imagining the life that I would have living my beach life, when there was no possible way it would happen, what did I do? I watched YouTube videos. I listened to YouTube videos. So I would watch beach scenes of the prettiest beaches in the world with the water coming up on the beach, right? Flowing up by my feet. My feet were in the sand. I could feel the warm sand. I could feel the sun on my shoulders. I could see and hear the sound of the wind gently moving through the palm trees and banana, banana palms, right? I could smell the salt air. I was on the beach. But actually, I wasn't, friends. I was in the desert in Las Vegas where I was in the midst of COVID and there was no possible way to travel. And yet, it all happened for me. You know, in, in August of 2020, one of the only places that was open was Mexico. So on my way to moving to Bali, Indonesia, I stopped and enjoyed Playa del Carmen for nine months until I qualified for my visa that fulfilled my imagination in moving to Bali and then living in Bali for two years, which was phenomenal, okay? Coming back and visiting my family and now in the United States, and now here I am in the Philippines. I'm living in Puerto Galera. You've seen some of my magnificent pictures and videos um, that I've already posted. Go back and review those. I'm gonna be showing you more of my amazing life here in the Philippines. I've already visited five islands, okay? It's been absolutely phenomenal. Waterfalls, right? The beach, the ocean, the snorkeling, the scuba diving. It's all coming to fruition because I imagined it true. It all starts in your imagination. So, to understand the process further, I'm inviting you to do some research on your own, please. If you really want to be a serious student, read and listen to Neville Goddard. You can go on Google and YouTube and you can find all of his lectures, many of them preserved from the original recordings by him. Amazing stuff. You can read and or listen to all of his books found online, again, for free. I prefer also to purchase them. I like to have real books. I also have all of this on my Kindle. Okay. To really make it your own, you need to embrace it and study it. What I recommend you do is go over the three-step process of going into the state, a meditative state, and imagining your scene as real, as already happened, such as being in that car and having it, having that career and being congratulated, feeling the hand of the director in your hand as he congratulates you on your great work. So friends, this is a taste of the process. Go back and review this video. Read chapter 19 from Neville Goddard, The Power of Awareness, to get a deeper feeling for it. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and commenting. I will talk to you again very soon.